More than a week after the second launch of Starship, CEO Elon Musk remains upbeat on X and is gearing up for another endeavor in the coming few weeks. The success, whenever and if it comes, will be a significant leap forward for SpaceX. This has fueled the desire not only of explorers and entrepreneurs, but also of NASA astronomers as well. They have just declared things about Starship that will blow your mind. Stay tuned as we dive into this episode and lots more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. At dawn on November 18th in Texas, the giant beast starship soared into the sky for the second time. This momentous event attracted thousands of people gathered around the area to cheer for starship. As spaceflight fans and photographers around Boca Chica pointed their cameras to the skies to document the spectacle, Scott Ferguson of Astronomy Alive watched from much farther away with a different kind of instrument, a telescope. Ferguson captured an incredible view of Starship's upper stage as it exploded into suborbital space. Ferguson said, I had planned this shot for the last couple of years. This has demonstrated that the anticipation for Starship is not only among space enthusiasts like us, but even space agency professionals are eagerly looking forward to witnessing this spectacular launch. Once Starship can reliably fly, it has the potential to transform the space industry. Designed to carry up to 150 tons into orbit, more than six times the capacity of the Falcon 9, and thanks to its full reusability, it offers a much more cost-effective launch. Astronomers are now beginning to dream about what Starship could enable them to do, such as launching massive space telescopes or sending fleets of exploratory spacecraft to Mars simultaneously. Recently, a group of leading astronomers in the United States announced that NASA's next great wave of observations will harness the capabilities of new rockets like SpaceX's Starship. The availability of greater mass and volume capability at lower cost enlarges the design space, said Charles Lawrence, the chief scientist for astronomy and physics at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. We want to take advantage of that. Lawrence's presentation dealt with the impact of large new launch vehicles on future astronomy missions. The presentation was given last week alongside Martin Elvis, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, and Sarah Seeger, an astrophysicist and planetary scientist at MIT. Lawrence, Elvis, and Seeger authored a paper earlier this year in the journal Physics Today discussing this topic. Astrophysics missions to space have always been tightly constrained by the capabilities of the launchers, which have not changed substantially in two decades. The three changes that Starship would bring are a much larger mass to orbit, much wider cargo bays, and no increase and potentially lowering the cost per launch. The first of things Starship can really do well is launch lots of stuff. This can enable the development of a standard telescope bus similar to those used by surveillance satellites to which custom instruments can be added. For decades, the maximum mass brought to low Earth orbit has been around 10 to 25 metric tons. The Starship User's Guide says that the spacecraft will be capable of carrying about 100 tons to low Earth orbit, which is 4 to 10 times more than other launchers. Starship will be able to put up to 21 tons into geostationary transfer orbit and about 18 into a Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point orbit a favorite location for many classes of astrophysics missions, including the JWST. Refueling in orbit is required for NASA's Lunar Starship Human Landing System. It could transport 100T observatories to the Moon, to the L2 orbit, or almost anywhere in the solar system. Space observatories are deployed from the cargo bay of the upper stage, known as the payload fairing of their respective launchers. They then fly independently for their operational lives, typically years to decades. All heavy lift vehicles launched this century have had interfering diameters of 4 to 5 meters. Starship will double that diameter to 8 meters and marginally increase the typical payload height. Over a few dozen Starship flights, a truly enormous spherical mirror section, perhaps a thousand meters in diameter, and with a focal length of 1,000 kilometers or so can be assembled behind a free-flying sunshade, pointed in a direction of general interest. Most launchers cost more than $100 million to design and build. Exceptions are the Proton-M and Falcon 9 vehicles, which cost about $60 million. But the production of Proton-M vehicles ended in 2022. 
The goal for Starship is to be cheaper than the Falcon 9 rocket. But even a launcher with zero costs would not be transformative without the large increases in payload mass and volume that Starship is designed to provide. A $60 million launch cost for NASA's medium-class Explorer missions, for example, is 20% of the mission's $300 million budget. It is precisely because of these unique capabilities of Starship that astronomers can design their missions using simpler, heavier components with fewer exotic materials while incorporating stronger technical advantages. This has been clearly demonstrated in the development of previous missions. During the design phase of NASA's modest-sized spectrophotometer for the history of the universe, Epoch of Reionization, and ISIS Explorer, or SphereX, for example, engineers used the mass available on the SpaceX Falcon 9 launch vehicle to help solve problems and contain costs. The JWST exemplifies the difficulties caused by tight size and mass constraints. The Ariane 5 launch vehicle constrained the total payload mass to 6.2 tons. The JWST primary mirrors, including their support structure, are one-sixth of the total mission mass. That's similar to the Hubble mirror, but with nearly six times the area. A Hubble-style mirror for the JWST would have had a mass of almost five tons or three-quarters of the total available payload. The limitations of the launcher capabilities forced project scientists to develop novel, lightweight, high stiffness to mass technologies. Their choice of beryllium for the mirror material was driven in part by the need for high conductivity to minimize thermal gradients at the 20 to 55 K operating temperatures of the JWST. The need to deploy a large, thin sunshield had other consequences, including reducing slew rates and lengthening settling times, both of which have reduced the amount of scientific work that can be done each day. Even though the JWST successfully deployed, vindicating the technical approach, the complexity of the design required extensive planning and testing that added to the cost and lengthened the project's schedule. With Starship's large fairing diameter and volume, the 6.5-meter JWST primary mirror could have been made of just a single component with a mass per square meter similar to Hubble. At 5 tons, the JWST would still have been only 10% of the mass deliverable to the Sun-Earth L2 orbit and therefore not a dominant design consideration. A single mirror avoids the complexity of aligning the 18 hexagonal mirror segments. Not all such origami deployments would be avoided by using Starship. The JWST sunshield is still larger than Starship's proposed fairing size. Although ambitious, Reducing total mission costs by a factor of two is the crucial threshold for cost savings. The same budget can then fund twice as many missions, which would be transformative for the new Great Observatories program by potentially allowing for missions slated for the 2040s to happen in the 2030s. Starship seems poised to provide faster and more cost-effective launch capabilities. Mission teams are likely to prioritize allocating their entire available budget, no matter how large, to larger and more versatile observatories. With the rapid development pace of SpaceX in just one to two years, Starship is expected to be fully proven in terms of reliability. This timeline offers NASA an opportunity to prepare for a new era of launch capabilities by the Astro 2020 midterm review. Coordinated studies over the coming years can explore how Starship might accelerate and expand the Astro 2020 program. But even if Starship were to fail, the effort invested in planning for its success is minor compared to the potential benefits it could bring to astronomy. Anyway, there are also plenty of grounds for excitement regarding what Starship could do if successful. From the inner to the outer solar system and possibly beyond, it may well open up a whole new era of space science. That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.